But uh, in other news today, uh, an earthquake has struck in Taiwan. Sally has the details of that morning. Thank you very much indeed, Ben. Yes, at least four people are dead and dozens are injured after a 7.4 magnitude quake struck Taiwan. Seismologists say the earthquake is the strongest to hit the East Asian nation in 25 years. Our Asia correspondent Rupert Wingfield Hayes is in the capital Taipei for us this morning. Morning Rupert, what more do we know about the impact of this earthquake? Well it's struck right across the east coast of the island and it has unleashed a lot of damage. Um, the most dramatic things we've seen so far are pictures of very very large landslides. The east coast of Taiwan is far more dramatic than the west coast, rugged and mountainous. And there are narrow valleys, high craggy mountains, well over 12,000 foot high. And a lot of them go right down into the ocean. And what this, uh, this earthquake has done, this very, very powerful shake this morning, is it's unleashed very large landslides coming down into the sea, into valleys there, cutting off valleys, cutting roads, uh, uh, clearing away bridges, so it's a very messy situation over there. The main city in the east of the island, Hualien, which is uh, quite a small city, it's quite a remote area, was struck and there has been damage there. We've seen two large buildings have partially collapsed. But I have to say, given the strength of this earthquake, 7.4 and very, very strong shaking, uh, mercifully the damage to the urban infrastructure has so far been re relatively light. And Rupert, I know earlier there had been concerns, possible concerns about tsunamis. What's the latest on that? That's right. The Japanese authorities, because Japan's southern islands are very close to Taiwan, they uh, put out a tsunami warning this morning immediately after the earthquake. We have seen some very, very small tsunamis, about 30 centimetres, but still uh, water rushing into a fishing port off the east coast here and then rushing out again, but nothing on the scale that would cause major damage. And fortunately, those tsunami warnings have now been lifted. Rupert Wingfield Hayes in Taipei. Thank you very much indeed.